Welcome to Imagination Station Stay at Home Science. Today we are going to be making chromatography butterflies and I'm going to show you how to make one at home. To make a chromatography butterfly at home, you'll need washable markers, a coffee filter, a pipe cleaner, water, and some sort of plastic tray or surface you don't mind getting messy. For water, you can use a spray bottle or an eyedropper. If you recycle a spray bottle like I did, just make sure you clean it out thoroughly and give it a new label. The first step to making a chromatography butterfly is to fold your coffee filter in half and lay it flat like this. Next, you'll draw the design for one butterfly wing on just this side of your coffee filter. Later on, it will be reflected across the fold to the other side of your coffee filter. Use different colors, shapes, and patterns to create your butterfly's wing, but make sure to leave lots of empty space, like this one. The next step is to add water a little bit at a time to the center of your butterfly wing here. Watch closely as you add water to see how your design moves and changes. As the water moves throughout the coffee filter, it carries the marker ink, ink with it. You may even notice some of your colors separating into new colors that weren't there before. That's because marker ink is made up of multiple different colored pigments. As the water carries the ink away, it carries those pigments at different rates, causing them to separate. Scientists use this technique called chromatography to separate mixtures in order to study their parts. And that's why we call this chromatography butterflies. And now you can see that the water has not only carried the ink around, but it's flipped it to the other side of your coffee filter. This causes it to be a mirror image, making your butterfly symmetrical, just like a real butterfly. Now, let your coffee filter sit somewhere to dry or speed it up using a hairdryer. Once your coffee filter is completely dry, it's time to make it into a butterfly. You're going to pinch along the center of your butterfly to pull it together like this. Then secure it with a pipe cleaner. I like to let the middle of my butterfly open up a little bit before I twist my pipe cleaner so that it creates the body of my butterfly. And now I can twist its little antennas into zigzags or spirals, whatever shape you want. And ta-da, you have a chromatography butterfly. If you make a chromatography butterfly at home, make sure to snap a picture and post it on our Facebook page. I can't wait to see what you make. Visit us at imaginationstationtoledo.org.